What's up, YouTube? This is Burn52, and welcome to, uh... I'm not sure what this is. Today I'm going to be making some tier lists, uh, based on, you know, stuff that I know. What I'm thinking my mind is, I'm going to be ranking, uh, Spider-Man movies. I'm going to be ranking Dead by Daylight Killers, uh, zombies, maps, and Easter eggs. Um, maybe the Halloween movies, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna be kind of exploring all sorts of the different templates that they have, and uh, this is gonna be weird. So let's start off with Spider-Man movies. Just simple. Yeah, Spider-Man movies. Uh, we're gonna start with the, you know, the obvious choice. That one all the way down there. Um, Homecoming. If I look at this one objectively. I'd say it's fine, but it makes me sick to my stomach that it exists. It's a... Okay, you know what? It's a good movie. I might put it in A. This is where I'm... I need to be honest with myself, put my biases aside. It's definitely not C or D. <sighs> I like The Amazing Spider-Man. Personally, I think it's fine, but, you know, from a film standpoint, I think it should be in D, because it is an awful movie, but I I like it. I'll put it in C, who cares. <sighs> Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Yeah. S tier for Spider-Man 2, obviously. Spider-Verse, I think, belongs with Spider-Man 2. They are incredible. And then... Spider-Man 1, right there, in A. Um, I'm proud with this. I, I would even argue putting uh, 3 up here. Uh, but, it, you know, it's... I don't think it's as good as Spider-Man 1, obviously, but it's still good, passable. I don't know exactly how this works. I think the closer it is to the this, the better it is. So I'm going to put Spider-Man 3 closer. Uh, and then, yeah, that should be good. All right. Spider-Man movie's done. So here we are, the zombies perks. Uh, we'll start with Jug, obviously god tier. Um, I'd even argue Widow's Wine is god tier too. It's really good. Hmm. No. Tombstone, awful. Uh, what else is awful? Deadshot. And who's who? Even, nah, no. Deadshot belongs in bad. Voltrade, great. Love Voltrade. Okay, double tap. Uh, meal kick. 2.0 is good. I'd even... I'm gonna put Widow's Wine up there. Electric Cherry is okay. Quick Revive. I'm gonna put it smack dab in the middle because in co-op it's useless and in solo it's really important. Uh... Yeah, I like that. I'd even put speed up here, but it's it's depending on what gun you have. Maybe 2.0. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, and then organizing these. We'll trade last, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. There. All right, perks done. Let's do Spider-Man adaptations. I think I've done this one. Okay. Peter Parker Incarnations. Uh, we'll start off with the obvious. <laughs> Toby and Spectacular, both in S tier. Incredible Incarnations. Uh, I'd even put PS4 up there as well. Super strong character. Uh, that's... actually no. Reversed. Yeah. Spectacular is more fleshed out than Sam Raimi's, unfortunately. I might have to put my nostalgia to the side and admit that Spectacular is definitely better. Ugh. Mm. Okay. Facing the music here. I hate this Peter Parker so much. Uh, I think having him be an Iron Man Jr., quite literally, especially since Iron Man is, you know, given the uh, torch to Peter Parker in Endgame, m makes me extremely pissed. 
that that is what this character has become. So as a Peter Parker incarnation, he's extremely weak. Putting him down there. Uh, new series, uh, this freaking Peter Parker is really neurotic and annoying. Sucks. I actually like Garfield Spider-Man. I'm gonna put him in D or C. Put him in D for now. Because it's not really his Spider-Man that's the problem in his movies, it's the plot. And the direction. Uh, but, I haven't actually seen the new animated series or, you know, uh, the original live action, which I'm imagining that is. Uh, new animated series. No, the new animated, the animated series. That's the new animated series. This is the animated series. I'll put him in A. Because, um, you know, it's kind of basic, but it is a pretty loyal Spider-Man incarnation. I'm going to put Peter B. Parker in A just because you didn't get a lot of screen time from him. And I'm going to put the Peter Parker in B just because we got so minimal screen time. But he was incredible for what we saw of him. Ditko, hilarious. B. Ultimate Spider-Man, I like him, personally. I think he's really, uh, likable as a Peter Parker. But I know he's, like, really aggressive, uh, in his, uh, in his comics. I'm gonna put him... He's not great. He's not bad. Put him in C. Nice little, nice little even ground. Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah. Ditko. No. It is the OG. Uh, if if you were to make a Peter Parker incarnation, you should take it from Ditko. This is like your template. I don't know. I don't want to put him in S just because. Put him in A. And of course, I haven't seen these two, so I can't I can't make judgments. All right, so that's uh, Peter Parker incarnations. All right, so we have. What is this? Call of Duty Zombies All Treyarch Maps as of April 2019, which was a couple months ago. So Ancient Evil is not on... No, Ancient Evil would be on this list. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, I haven't played... Actually, no, this is good. Because I've played every single Treyarch map. And I can rate these fairly. Alright. S tier, let me find all my S tiers. D, E. Origins. And where is it? SOE and GK. Uh, SOE, I love personally. I'm going to put it like that. Yeah, I like GK and DE more than Origins personally because I wasn't around for Origins, but I know how great it was and I, I enjoy it thoroughly playing as myself. <sighs> I've heard everyone praise Ancient Evil. When I played it, I played it once. I didn't particularly enjoy it. Just because of how I feel about it, I think it's just going to be a solid B. Buried, love buried. Super fun. What is that? Verrucked. It, it wasn't very particularly good for, you know, high rounds, but it, it is, you know, refreshing with you uh, playing in co-op. Your teammates are separate from each other. I think it's fun, but has not aged well. Let's see. Rev. I'm the only person who actually likes Rev. I love Rev. Super fun, replayable map, and really easy. Made it pretty easy for me to get to Prestige Master. Um, literally the latter half of my grind to Prestige Master was just, you know, doing Origins around 100s. Which was fun, and I loved doing it, and, you know, made that point in my life much more enjoyable. <sighs> the Easter egg, though. Screw it. I'm putting it there. Blood of the Dead. Everyone hates this map. I hate it too. D. Nine. Everyone loves this map. I hate it. C. Voyage. Awful. Classified. I actually like it. B. Or what is that? A. Dead of the Night. Awful. D. Mob. A. Nuketown. I love the Nuketown. A. What is that? Shinonuma? Is that Shinonuma? Do I? I don't see. She, I think that's Shino. <sighs> Put it with Frogged. All the World War, all the World at War ones are going together. We're just knocked there. Shangri La. Ugh. Actually, I don't mind. I don't hate. I mean, I, I don't hate. Yeah. No, see, whatever. 
Kino, uh, it's passable, but it's replayed. I'll put it there. Transit, I actually like Transit. I'll put it C. Diary is awful. Call of the Dead, great. But I don't like it as much. Moon. I like training in the biodome, but the... Is that what it's called, the biodome? Yeah, it's the biodome. But I hate the astronaut, spaceman, whatever. And I hate the excavator and the, the zero gravity mechanic. I'm going to put it B. Makes it super replayable unreplayable in hindsight. That's supposed so bad. Wait, no, that's not Noct. What is that? Oh, that's Doris. I'm dumb. Sorry, guys. Let's put that at A. Noct, get in your rightful place. Five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go with classified. And then ascension. B. Let me organize these. Call the dead. Right there. Mob. Up. You down. Five. Four. Mm. Um, 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 um. I like classified guns better. Uh, yeah. That's good. Uh, God, I hate ancient evil. There, that should be good. Those are Call of Duty Zombies, all Treyarch maps as of 2019. Uh, that's my rankings. Be that as it may. Dead by Daylight Killers. I'm excited for this one. I rank them a lot. I like ranking them. Uh, by player style. What does that mean? Killers rating. Okay. At least this is a clean slate. <sighs> God. Need a rework. What does that mean? Need a rework. Legion got his rework. Freddy is getting his, so I'll put him down there for now. Uh, I guess Freddy's going to be the only one in that department, even though his rework is coming. Hmm. Billy is good. Nurse is good. Spirit's good. Hag is good. Huntress is good. That's your A tier. Organize them to par. That should be good. Um, good tier. Wow, this is really, like, not anything to work with. Uh, Leatherface is awful. Doctor should be in boring, too. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be reading this on. Hmm. Good, there's a lot of killers that are good. I, don't, I wouldn't argue that Wraith is good. I wouldn't argue that Pig's good. Plague. Yeah. I'm gonna rename this to Average. And I hate this, so let's just do Awful Design. Bad Average. Good. I want another tier. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want. I don't want bad. I want great. Good. Average. And bad. Okay, that should be good. Uh, yeah. Plague goes up there. Bad. Average. Actually, no, you're awful. Good. Bump you up. Alright, that should be the killers all done. Um, I wish Leatherface wasn't so bad, but he's actually awful thinking about him. Uh, his power is useless, especially if you get a pal in between you and the killer, Leatherface. Uh, but yeah, he's really bad. Halloween franchise. Halloween movies. Yeah, just the Halloween fr Okay. Nice. Alright, I haven't seen all of them. 
I'm gonna rank the ones that I've seen. S tier, it's gonna be ya boy numero uno. Awful Resurrection six and five. That's not Resurrection. I'm dumb. That's Resurrection. All right. Four is actually pretty good from what I've heard. Two is actually good as well. I actually really like 2018. Solid movie. H2O is really good as well. And I haven't seen the Rob Zombie ones or three, so. That should be Halloween. All done. Oh, Breaking Bad. There's gotta be something for Breaking Bad. Yeah. Better Call Saul characters. Okay. This, this seems like it had more stuff on it. Here we go. Okay. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do this. I think I'm going to rate them based on, you know, the in-depth of how well their characters were written because I hate Skylar and Chuck. I, like, mentally hate them because they're just awful people, but their characters are superbly written. So that that makes it hard to juggle. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rank based on how well their characters are done. All right. This guy, who the heck is guy? Screw him. I love Walter Jr. A lot of people don't appreciate how good of an actor RJ Mitt is. Freaking awesome actor. Um, Hank's pretty good too. Put him in A. Walter obviously is a very complex character. Um, incredibly written. Who is that? You Mike? Mike's is great. Jesse, S. That's a given. Chuck, where I put you? You're good, but you're not as good as them. Uh, I'll put you in A. I have to. Mm, combo barely got any screen time. Uh, I know he's pretty important to season three. Um, uh, frick, I, I gotta put you in D. This guy, awful. I mean, not awful, but you know. He, he, he was just kind of like a comedy relief and or like grunt dude. Not not like a grunt, but like sort of like a, a middleman kind of gig going on. Gus is pretty good. Skyler's good. Actually, I'm going to put her B. Just because he's so irritable. Kim, I'm fine with. I didn't really get anything from her performance, so. Marie... Uh, This guy, okay. These two are actually pretty good. But, you know, they, they barely spoke. Wait, what? Oh, you're the season four, dude. You barely spoke. Saul is so good. This guy, whatever. Actually, he was kind of integral. Whatever. Put him up there. Todd. Well, he was just designed to be unlikable. Huel. I don't want to put him up there for meme's sake. I gotta put him in D. I gotta put you in D, buddy. I'm sorry. I love me some fuel. Who is this? Who is that? I haven't seen season four of Better Call Saul yet. So I have no idea who this guy is. I don't know if he's in that. Or if I'm just not remembering him. Who is this? Is that Nacho? That might be Nacho. I love Nacho. Skinny Pete. Oh, I love Badger. I love Badger. I love his voice. I'm already forgetting her name. Jane. Yeah. Uh, gotta put her with all the women. <laughs> I love how all the women are in this, this middle tier. No, literally every single woman is in the middle tier. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I'm forgetting her name as well. It's with an L, I think. Linda? Is it Linda? No. I can't remember her name. Uh, she was pretty unlikable. Tuco, he was good, but... Kind of a cookie-cutter enemy. Uh, Hector... He, he did a pretty good job. He did a pretty good job. But because of, you know... He's kind of like there for exposition and or like historical context I'm gonna put him with Tuco and then Jack 
Jack's awful. And then this guy. I have no idea who this guy is. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Anyway, let me organize these. Actually, in a good order. There we go. That should be good. Alright, that's Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul characters. Ranked. Are there FNAF games? The FNAF games. Here. Five Nights at Freddy's games. Uh, actually, there's none. There's like none. Here, let me remove this one. We'll do three rows. Alright. So this is great games. So this is going to be one and two. Great games. Uh, four was passable. Such a location I have no problems with. Three was just straight up bad. And then... There. Done. Actually, two before one. Ultimate Custom Night Before the Pizza Simulator. And then we're done. Alright, the FNAF game's done.